Here's the Burley Cantu all loaded up, ready to go. Way too heavy, way too much stuff, but it all seems necessary right now. I'll get it unloaded and I'll show you what I've got. So let me show you some of the modifications I've made to my Burley Cantu. It's originally a 2002 bike. It was in pretty bad shape. I uh, picked it up at a deal for that and um, cleaned it all up. Fixed up some things. I'm going with the short wheelbase. I like the short wheelbase for transportation. It fits right on my rooftop bike rack. Uh, I switched out the handlebars just because this is my old mountain bike handlebar and it fits better in, um, with me. I'm a pretty short guy. so Put a little mount there for my phone. Put a little mount for my computer which needed to be a little closer to the front wheel so it wouldn't sit on my handlebar. I had to move it down. Fortunately, there's a water bottle uh, mount there, but I couldn't fit a water bottle there. You'd be rubbing it all the time with your legs. So I don't know why they put that there. Uh, let's see. Put on some Schwalbe Marathon tires, front and back. Uh, swapped out the disc brakes. It, had, it came with originally with disc brakes, but I swapped in the Avid Juicy uh, BB7s. And let's see what else in the front area here. Mm, that might be about it. Oh, I put on Shimano the dual pedals. I like the clipless, and then if I want to switch out, I can ride just with regular shoes on the other side there. That's handy. Typically, I go clipless, though. Uh, I've got underseat racks. I've got underseat racks. Uh, they, they have a, uh, an underseat mount, and then the Arkel uh, panniers under there. Put a kickstand on there, which the coveted kickstand. Tired of leaning my bike up against stuff and other people's bikes. Rear panniers um, and a trunk bag. They got, I got the Ibera system, which was actually relatively inexpensive. Has held up really well for the last four years. Um, it's kind of a nice system. Easily come on and off with these little clips. You can see right there. You just push that button, and the trunk bag just flips right up. Real, real handy there. Uh, what else? I think that's about all the modifications I've done. I had to custom fabricate a rear bracket. It's hard to find parts for these things, but you can see that silver bracket there. I custom made that just to uh, be able to hold the rear rack better. Um, replaced all the cordage on the back of the seat with 550 paracord. A little, holds up a little better there and matches the color scheme of my bike. With some specialized water bottle holders that are side mount, which is kind of nice for pulling them on and off when you're just pulling them out from behind you. I think that's about it. Let's get these bags off of here and show you what I got packed. So I just want to take a few minutes to uh, go through my packs and show you what's in each one. We'll start with the rear packs here. Rear pannier. This one is my drone. Now this is obviously not a required item. We're um, not exactly going minimalist here, uh, but it's something that we thought would be fun to take this year so we can get some good aerial footage of the cliffs and uh, of, our, of our expedition. So let me show you how I pack this. It fits pretty nicely in, in this back pan here, actually. Got the DJI Phantom 3 Professional there. And got the charger for it. Controller. And the propellers found a use for an old uh, three and a half inch floppy uh, container. So it holds my propellers so they don't get all banged up in there. And that's all I've got in that pannier. That's all that really fits. Uh, I could probably pack some clothing and things around there, um, but it would be a pretty tight fit and then I have to pull them out every time I want to fly the drone, which would probably make me want to fly the drone less. All right, let's move on to the uh, other rear pannier. 
This one has more of my uh, essentials. Um, sleeping kit. I start with, I've got an empty bag. This bag I switch my uh, dirty clothes into so that uh, I've got a place to keep them separate when we get to do laundry. And this little bag, I tend to put things in little bags. It just makes it easier to pull things in and out. Um, this is my toiletry kit. Um, basics that I have in here, I keep one of these little pack towels, um, some insect repellent, we're going to need that this week, and some sunscreen, going to need that this week. Uh, deodorant, definitely going to need that this week, it's going to be very hot. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss, got to bring floss, I don't care how much weight it adds. Uh, some body wash and a Disney bottle, and two things of Blistex lip protection with uh, SPF 30 on that. Very important for this week. So that's my toiletries kit. Then I have, let me go into this one. This is my sleeping bag. It's an REI Lumen, I think it's um, 25, rated to 25 degrees. Uh, and in a Sea to Summit uh, event waterproof bag, um, compresses real nice, nice compression sack. And then in this bag, this is my, um, in this bag I've got my bedroll, my uh, Thermarest Neo Air XV Lite. Um, I've got a Sea to Summit Eros Pillow Ultralight, it's an inflatable, very comfortable, more comfortable than I, would, I expected. That's probably the most comfortable camping pillow I've ever had. And then this little gadget, which I made, um, it's just a garbage bag with a pop top on it and a um, little hose gasket. And what this does is it makes it so I can inflate things. I just go like this and then I put it on there and I can inflate without having to use my uh, humid air in and out of my, my uh, camping pad there so and that's it that's it for that that pannier that's my uh, pretty much my bed and my toiletries all I keep in there so let's check on the next one all right next I want to go through my uh, under seat panniers um, let's start with the one on the my left side so I've got here uh, I'm going from outside to in on the outside in this compartment, I have my uh, waterproofing uh, for all of my panniers, all five. And I also keep in here an, an air pump. Guarantee we're going to get a flat. We always do. Uh, and I just, my friend uh, Mark is going to be bringing most of the tools, but that's something we had break on us last year. So I thought, eh, it's not that heavy. I can throw it in just as a spare, uh, just in case. Um, nice little mesh pockets on the outside here. I tend to throw stuff in here while I'm riding, my trail mix, whatever, so I can just reach down, grab that, and uh, have a little snack while I'm riding. Uh, there's a little compartment in the back here, and in here I've got uh, just a six foot, and here I've got this six foot cable lock um, with just a small master lock. It is not going to stop somebody from stealing our bikes, but it will deter them, so I'm hoping that's all we need. I don't think you know, I, we've, carried, we've carried a U-lock with us before. Those things just weigh a ton. So we're going to try this. Um, it's pretty hard to steal the recumbent anyways, just because most people can't ride them without some practice. So I worry more about people stealing uh, the stuff, the, the, the bags, than I do the bikes anyways. So, uh, And then in the main pocket, opens up quite widely here if we want to. Here's what we've got. I've got an extra canister. This is my mess kit for the most part. I've got a jet boil inside there. I've got um, extra, I've got one canister of fuel, second canister of fuel. Um, and this is just uh, this is kind of a fun thing. This is the um, GSI Outdoors uh, Tandem, I think, no, what's it called? Duet. And uh, you can use this for a wash basin to hold water. And then you've got a pot. There. And you've got 
bowl, and they call this a mug, that's what we use it for, bowl and mug, so each of us will have a bowl and a mug. Uh, I've got three sets of those, this one doesn't fit in the thing, so keep that one out separate. They have lids and uh, another fuel canister, three fuel canisters I think will be plenty for this week. Um, I've gone, we, we ran out last year with only two and ended up having to try and find one. And finding one was a little harder than I thought it would be. So I'm bringing three this year. Probably won't need a third one, but just in case. And I got a little dish soap, and I've cut a little piece of uh, scouring sponge. I throw that in there, and that's how we do our dishes every day. And uh, same with this third set. Um, in each of mine, I have a one liter water bottle. And uh, I carry with me uh, three and a half liters of water between each of these one liter, and I like to keep, these are heavy. This is by far, the water is the, the heaviest thing in my pack. Um, I like to keep those really low on my bike. It helps center my gravity, center my weight, uh, improves my center of gravity. Uh, so I like to keep those really low on those uh, under seat um, bags here. And then I've got, these are the, the tent poles and stakes. The, the tent we use is a uh, Big Agnes Copper Spur UL4. Um, it's great three-person tent. It's, a, it's called the UL4 for four people, but you've got to be really, uh, really familiar if you're going to be hanging out with four people in there. Um, I am going to, this year we're splitting up the tent. So I pack the tent into, I've got the uh, rain flying ground cover and the tent fabric itself in separate waterproof bags that, uh, so each of us can carry one, of, one part of the tent. Just spreading it out a little bit, spreading the volume out a little bit. And that is the left side under seat pannier. Alright, how are we doing? You still with me? Let's go ahead and move on to the right side under seat storage. Alright, this one I've already got my uh, GoPro Hero Black 5 uh, ready to go. I like to pull that out and uh, with my right hand and be ready to ready to go with that. Outside pockets here. Got my Katie Trail book and pen to write notes along the way. And I've got my uh, main camera, my Canon G7X that I'll be bringing with me. I don't take my uh, 5D Mark IV when I go traveling like this. It just weighs too much, and I would worry too much about that. Lovely piece of kit. Other outside pocket here again, uh, might be overkill, but I've got a little kit. Um, spare tire tubes, two spare tubes, um, Allen wrench set, and that's about it, tire levers. Like I said, some of the other guys are going to have some stuff with us, so it's, it's more than I'll need, but it's not that, that heavy, so. And I'll open up the big compartment here. Here we have... I'll save this one for now. My shoes. Um, I like to have extra shoes. I don't like walking around in my biking shoes so much. So those are pretty lightweight and uh, they dry quickly if they get wet. Uh, again, water bottle. Very heavy, but uh, very necessary. Um, in this bag, I've got uh, two bags of uh, prepackaged oatmeal and uh, hot chocolate. I'm in charge of the breakfast, and oftentimes what we'll do is uh, we like to have the breakfast handy because we like to get up and just get going. So we'll heat, boil some water, eat some uh, oatmeal and some hot chocolate, and uh, get on the road. Oftentimes we'll stop for either lunch or dinner. Um, we have usually have some prepackaged meals ready to go for that also, um, and we'll stop at grocery stores along the way. There will be some. We go through some towns here on this on the Katy Trail. Um, this bag I, is kind of a bag that you kind of hope never to have to open on the trip. I've got kind of an emergency kit in here. Um, I got a water filter, water purification tablets, uh, fire striker, uh, emergency blanket, um, just various things like that. A patch kit for my air mattress, an extra bandana, survival lanyard. <laughs> We're not going to need this stuff on this trip, but it's there in case. You know, we're not, it's not like we're going to be out in the wilderness, but I almost thought about leaving it home, but I know if I leave it home, then I'm going to want it. So, uh, ah, this is 
This is uh, a very critical item right here. A little bit of toilet paper and the deuce of spades for digging a hole. Because uh, we're not always going to be around somewhere where there's a bathroom. Very nice to have. Very light. Ultra packable. And so that we probably will use, actually. Uh, I got some paracord, 50 feet of paracord. Um, I keep this. Uh, clothes lines, um, put, pulling our food bags up. If there's raccoons or bears around, we can use that. Various uses. Uh, and then I got a little first aid kit in here. I have um, ibuprofen, some uh, salve, some antibacterial uh, ointment. Various things, band-aids, blister aids, uh, uh, tweezers, and a tick identification chart. Their ticks are very heavy this year, so I expect we'll probably be pulling a tick at some point. So that's it for that one. Only one more to go. Hang in there. We're almost there. All right, last one, uh, my trunk bag. Let me pull that up here. So in my trunk bag, this is the bag that is easiest to pop off the bike, so if I'm going to be going somewhere, I'm going to pull this off the bike and just carry it along with me. Um, so I keep my more valuable things in here. Let me start with some of the outside pockets. I'll start on the way back here. Um, I'll keep my wallet, my car key, um, and then I've got some other things that, again, hopefully I won't need, but just some, some gels in case I feel like I'm going uh, low blood sugar. And then um, electrolytes. You can Tablets you can drop in your water. Those are handy to have um, when you're, if you're feeling dehydrated. Um, it's a good idea to have some of that along with you. And when, when we're sweating like we're going to be this week, not a bad idea to have with you. Over on the other side here, just some various things. Bandanas, I usually carry a few of those. Headlamp um, for camp in the evenings. I'll show you what these are for in a minute. And just a pocket knife. Other side here. All I have in this one right now is a tripod for my uh, G7X. Uh, for getting some footage. Um, I like it's great to have a little bit of extra space because you never know you're gonna pick things up along the way and just throw them in there. I've got nothing in this top pocket though I can throw my iPhone in there um, when it's not attached to the bike which is pretty handy. It's a nice spot, well protected. Alright, the main compartment then. In here I have two bags. It's my electronics bag and my clothing bag. Clothing, all I have, I've got um, Three sets of socks and underwear, three sets of shorts, and three t-shirts. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'll need. Uh, that's probably more than I'll need. Usually I just carry two, but I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm going to be very, very sweaty this year. and <laughs> I'm just looking forward to just being able to put some clean, dry clothes on every now and then. So that's what that is. And then in my electronics kit, I've got it in a waterproof bag again here. Doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of rain. There's a chance near the end of the week, so uh, I'm just preparing for that as a possibility. So in my electronics kit, I really only have two things. I've got a solar panel. This is the 28 watt uh, big blue solar charger. This is great. I've, I've been amazed at how well this charges my, even my iPhone 7 Plus. Um, I, just, I plug my GoPro into it. I plug, I even my G7X will charge off of it. Uh, and then I've got an additional in my my other little, uh, in the electronics package here, uh, this little organizer is pretty handy. Got a battery pack. This thing, you know, even if we don't get any sun, I've got this fully charged right now, and this will charge along the way if I want to use. And that's what these are for, by the way. Um, for if I want to put my solar charger on the back of my bike, I can clip it on uh, to my panniers and um, charge things while I'm riding. Um, Probably we'll just use it at camp though. You know, we're not gonna be doing putting a lot of hard miles on, so I'll have time at camp. Um, wall charger, we will have times when we have uh, electricity, and it's nice to be able to charge everything up to full capacity. Uh, this is the uh, Anchor uh, IQ. It's got a uh, two ports, and they're smart ports, so you, it'll quick charge. Spare batteries, I've got some uh, CR2032s for my tail light. I, that I'll even use my tail light, you know, we're not going to be on roads that much, so. Um, extra batteries for my headlamp there. And a spare battery for my G7X. Um, other than that, cables, you know, you got to have all the cables. Head headphones in case I want some personal time. Just put my headphones on and listen to podcasts or whatever. 
Um, three different cables, lightning connector for my iPhone, um, USB-C for the uh, GoPro, it's the only thing on that, and then a micro USB for my battery pack, um, and that may be all I use the micro USB for. Oh, and for my G7X, it uses micro USB also. That's it. That's what I've got with me. Again, you know, it's not a minimalist kit. I've got a bunch more than I need, but um, I always struggle with uh, making sure I have everything that I could possibly want versus, eh, you know, you don't really need that. Um, I don't need a lot of this stuff. You know, I could probably get by with two panniers and, you know, clothes, and I, I don't even know that I need a sleeping bag. I even debated leaving that at home. It's going to be 70 degrees every night as the low, um, but I, I'm bringing it anyways. So there you have it. That's what I'm taking with me as I cross, traverse the great state of Missouri from Kansas City over to St. Louis. I'll see you on the trail. Thanks for watching.